Welcome. So. Shalom. I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory go unto Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham Rakaq Kudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom to the whole elect. Shalom. Gone. Yeah, so today we're here, uh, Rotterdam on location. We're in Gouda. Gouda is uh, a village near Rotterdam. And we got the brother from Germany, the Zawa, yeah. you know, he's here. So yeah. we want to go into this place that we're visiting because this place is called the St. Jan's uh, Church. And yeah, man, we're going to dive into that, this see what they yeah. see, what they say, see what Esau says. And then we're going to refer to the truth, you know, because he's always trying to pervert the truth, trying to uh, come with his, his version of the truth. But we're going to cut him up with the scriptures. Come on. So this is uh, the Wikipedia concerning uh, this church, which is called the St. John's Kerk, which in, uh, if you translate it literally, it means Saint, uh, St. John Church. Yeah, and who uh, are the saints? You get yeah. the 100, Psalms 147. Cool. And it says, the St. John's Kerk in Gouda, the Netherlands, is a large Gothic church, known especially for its stained glass windows, for which it has been placed on the UNESCO list of Dutch monuments. Oh, so that's why this is uh, very dear to uh, Esau because if you walk around, walk around, and all you saw was uh, gothic um, um, images, you know, the glass was, um, how do you call it? Here in Dutch, they say glas en lood. You know, that's uh, very expensive. That's a, a way of art, you know, and that's what he preserves here because if you walk around the church, then you see all these uh, um, nets that mm -hmm. people can throw stones at the, mm -hmm. at the glass. Very protective. Yeah. You got, you got a glass uh, and load image, maybe to show it. Mm. Mm. I mean, the church is massive, huge, man. You know, yeah, like man. What I was saying, man. You know, you, go, you just go in, the water's in on top, man, because it's so big. It's, this is insane, man. Yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Because you, you go in, and yeah. then you have the church where you uh, pray and stuff like that, but what happens? On the, the other floors, yeah. you know, of course, I think people used to live there yeah. and stuff. And I know, you had a picture? Yeah. It's basically stained glass. So within the glass, they make this imagery, you know, oh, yeah, these, yeah, these know images. Like from Sajor Brozier. Yeah, that's what yeah. I have right, right here. Like in, like in these, um, uh, what is it, mid-ages movies and things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. With, with, um, in the, in the Catholic churches with, with Mary and things like they hold him, um, supposedly Jesus, things like that. Um. Yeah, so um, if, all the, if they have all these floors, then people used to, uh, of course, live there. But I know from, from uh, experience, because I used to work here, that they used to bury people around here. But if you had real money, then you would be buried in the church. Yeah. You got these uh, mm -hmm. tombs and catacombs and stuff like that. So if you're, that's why they say the Rijke Stinker, you know, yeah. because Rijke Stinker, it means a rich, um, Stink. yeah, Stink, filthy rich, stinking rich. Yeah. That means if you had so much money, then you could be buried in the church. And, and sometimes it would kind of stink. That's where they get that uh, from. Yeah. So this is uh, in the history. Songs? Oh yeah, the, the saints. Yeah, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 140, 48 and 14. <coughs> Uh, next verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is ex excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. Um, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Can I break it up? Yeah, so basically, we are, the, we are the saints, man. Because let me go back to the part that says, um, the praise of all the saints, you know. And before that, it says of his people, and after it says the children of Israel. So we are the holy people because when you go on the saint, it means to be holy, you know. And like when you go into Deuteronomy seven and six, we should be holy people. We should yeah. be separate people, different from these other nations, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we are. That's why these when they when they call themselves saints, they are no saints, man. They are the devil that the Bible speaks of, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially the Edomite race, but we are the saints. You talk of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And yeah. then you also have this church dedicated to one of the saints, which is John the Baptist, man. Yeah, yeah. That you know? we're going to go into because that's what it uh, yeah. says. Yeah. Yeah. Can I add on to what, you, uh, what yeah. the, the verse says? Because it says, even of the children of Israel, mm -hmm. which the word even is Old English, mm -hmm. which goes back to, uh, to namely, 
mm. in the uh, etymology, which is the mm. study of the root of the word. And if you look up the word namely, it goes back to that is to say, meaning it's a reference mm -hmm. to the children of Israel, mm. meaning that the saints refers to the Israelites. Yeah. The Santa goes into being set apart, and then what you said, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, comes into play mm -hmm. that we have been given these law, statutes, and commandments. And to, by this, we are going to be set apart and kept holy because these other nations, when they uh, eat pork, when they eat uh, abominations, nothing happens to them. But mm -hmm. when we eat it, you get the um, diseases, and that's also one of the curses, Deuteronomy 28. You know, thou shalt have a, um, a, a swelling or inflammation if you go into that. Let me see if I could find it. Yeah, you know the verse? I'm gonna check it out. You can just keep on speaking, I'm gonna try to find it. Come, because that's one of the curses that we are uh, smitten with, you know? And if you go into that word, it goes into um, all these sicknesses and illnesses and diseases that Jake gets from um, eating these abominable things, which we're not supposed to because we are the saints. We are set apart. We are uh, near unto the Most High. You see? And the same thing also when you line up the beard, mm -hmm. they get all these these bombs, uh, the and, bombs man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I need yeah, I got it here. Oh, it's quick. Um, it's Deuteronomy 28 and 22. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with a fever and with an inflammation. Yeah, inflammation. That's what uh, Jake has constantly, you know. Yeah. Inflammation of the liver, inflammation of, of his arteries. And that's because we were eating these abominable things, man. You know, that's good. So it, it comes even heavier upon us. Yeah. yeah. And with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew yeah. and they shall pursue thee until thou perish. You see? These illnesses, these sicknesses are going to pursue us. Mm. But when you come back to the law, statutes and commandments, then you're going to be clean, you're going to be cleansed, you know, you're going to, um, um, a wise man take care of his diet, you know, mm. then it's going to go well with thee. Because these laws have been given to us to prolong our life. But yeah, not to go too much off topic. <laughs> Yeah. So this is a little bit of history concerning uh, this church, and it says the church is dedicated to John the Baptist, not too loud, <laughs> the patron saint of Gouda. It was built during the 15th and 16th century. In 1552, a large part of the church burned, including the archives. Most information of the early period is taken from the diaries of Ignatius Walvis. Around 1350, a tower was built, only the lower part remains. In 1485, the foundation was built for the present-day choir. This expansion made the church the longest in the Netherlands, with a length of 123 meters. Yeah, and that's speaking about the Ark, because you, um, in the Dutch, they call it the Boog, from the beginning. And all these churches, man, if you look at them from the top, what do you see? You see a cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you... So uh, they they um, they took the, the length from mm. the beginning part of the of the church till mm. the end, and that's the longest one here in Holland. That's why it's also dear to them, you know, this mm. church. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, the, the information that. Uh, and the part about John the Baptist was in the beginning, I believe. Yeah, the church is dedicated to John the Baptist, patron saint of Gouda, who was built during the 15th and 16th century. Yeah, and we walked around this. Uh, church but we didn't see anything about John the Baptist so through the spirit we're gonna, we're gonna bring that out so we're gonna start with uh, what Matthew was it? 3? yeah Matthew 3 okay. book of Matthew chapter 3 and let me say verse 1 yeah. it says in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand can repent uh, meaning uh, to, to turn back to feel sorry because if you go into that word repent it means to be sorrowful so be sorry for the state that we're in and come back to the last Statutes and Commandments because the kingdom is at hand. And this was in uh, the book of Matthew. So this is about roughly 2000 years ago. And but the same people that were in, in um, authority back then are still in authority. So that's why it says the kingdom of heaven is at hand because when this kingdom crumbles, then our kingdom is going to come, as it says in the book of Second Ezra, you know, um, or was it uh, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the, the beginning of the one that followed? it? Mm, yeah, let's get it. I have the word repent in etymology. Go on, bring it up. This is uh, the word repent in the etymology. And it says circa 1300. To feel such regret for sins or crimes as produces amendment of life. You see, to regret. So to 
to be sorrowful for for um, what we've done, for what you have done, for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments, because that's what we did. When we started to learn of this truth, then we, we felt sorry. I'm like, shit, I didn't know that we, we had laws and that we were supposed to keep them. That's why I'm getting this inflammation, you know, mm. that, that's one, one of the things that hit me, you know, feeling sick because you were living like Esau, you know, eating uh, um, um, carpaccio, stuff like that, things with blood in it, shrimp and shit. I started to get sick, but now you know, so, you know, once you know better, you do better. Uh, also, the word amendment. So the word amendment in the uh, etymology it says betterment or improvement yep. of persons, correction, reformation, you know, improving yourself, you know, turning away from the old ways, you know, and try to uh, adapt. And uh, I see it. Uh, no adapt and. Uh, basically uh, try to incorporate the things that are in the scriptures yeah, that you learned yeah. Yeah. apply scriptures yeah, yeah, apply, yeah. Yeah. yeah man that's what you have to do man because when you think about this kingdom you know like we always say in this kingdom is easy the wickedness but it's hard to the righteousness so you have to really sit down and start to show yourself approved to 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 grow into the man that you have to be because if the bible is breaking down you go into hell but you don't have to go through yeah. you know because these are things that we can avoid by keeping the such commandments that's why the Heavenly Father gave us this because we are separate, you yeah. know. Because when you think about back when we went into the land of Canaan, why they was kicked out of the land, or why we should kick them off the, out of the land because they defied the land with their vile acts, yeah. you know. You got a scripture. This is Proverbs chapter four, starting at verse twenty. My son, attend to my words, yeah. incline an ear to my sayings, which is words pertaining to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, which that heart goes back to the word love, which is the mind. Meditate upon these things day and night. You know, verse 22, for they are life unto those that find them and health to all that flesh. Also going into what the brother was breaking yeah. down concerning, you know, the information. Beautiful, you know? beautiful, man. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about the priesthood real quick. Yeah. What the brother was saying. Um, this book of Joshua, chapter one and verse... Seven. Seven, yeah. um, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest yeah so you got to keep the law statutes and commandments that were given by us by the hand of Moses which is the the, the, the first books you know the first five books that pertains more to the law, Deuteronomy, Leviticus, uh, uh, Genesis is the, the history and the genealogy, you know, of uh, Adam. Mm -hmm. And if we um, do according to those laws, then it, we are going to prosper, you know. Yeah. But this kingdom is, is really not meant for us to prosper because it's not our kingdom. Absolutely. Our kingdom is going to come. But yeah. still, you got to take the, the best of the worst because we, it was prophesied also that we are going to eat our defiled bread, you know. Mm -hmm. But still, you gotta go for the the, the best of the worst. Okay. Yeah. Should you really say it also? Yeah. This book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate them day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written there. For yeah. then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Yeah, success. success. Yeah, man. So when when you keep the law, statutes, and commandments, when you walk in the light then you yourself are, are gonna give light mm -hmm. you know how are you gonna give life light when you're dim you know we gotta walk in the path that Yahweh Shai walked mm -hmm. and that's the these law statutes and commandments he didn't break uh, not even the least one of them mm -hmm. scripture. and yep. can I just add on to that because he was saying we have to walk in the way of Yahweh Shai you know and when you think about it when you go into the John what we're gonna read also is he prepared the way for Yahweh Shai man yep. you know so it's really the perfect perfect link for that because yep. we have to understand the Heavenly Father only dealt with, 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 with everybody that the Heavenly Father dealt with basically was a man of them, you know. Of course, you had to, you had to, uh, incense where, uh, where Balaam was there in the book of Numbers. Uh, with, the, with the prophet? No, with the prophet, but he, the king, king. where well, he was king, speaking to the king of the Moabites. I forgot grab his name. It, I grab it for you. Yeah, I forgot his name, but yeah, for example, the Heavenly Father gave him a certain, certain, um, uh, vision or a certain warning for for the king of the Moabites 
But ultimately, Heavenly Father only did it through Israel because he said, like, I want to die like one of them Israelites. Yeah, I remember yeah. that part. I remember that phrase. And the other, yeah. other beautiful um, example is also uh, King uh, Cyrus because yeah. King Cyrus, he yeah. was uh, from uh, the Medio Persian uh, Empire mm -hmm. and he wasn't an uh, Israelite, but yeah. he still he caused us to, to flourish again. Exactly. You know? He caused us to, to um, build our, our temple and our altar again. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. so that's how you see how the Most High He can use anybody, mm -hmm. but you have a nation that He set apart. Yeah. So if He uses uh, King Cyrus, but then it's to to help His uh, nation. Yeah, you know. And the same instance was with, with uh, I think it's Balaam or Balaam, no Balaam. Yeah. The same instance was with him because why? The the um, Balaam was speaking against the King of Moab. At first, the Moabite king came to him like, "Hey, curse these Israelites." But then he said, like, no, 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 I don't curse them because Heavenly Father is going to fuck me up for it. Yeah, yeah. So showing you that Heavenly Father used these people to, to let us flourish, to help us, to support us, man. Yeah. And the same thing is right now because when you go outside sometimes, you're doing things out of nowhere. The guy that you knew from the past can fix you up with a good job, man. You, you know? know what the scripture says? The scripture says, if a man's way please the Lord, the Lord yeah. he causes even his enemies mm -hmm. to be at peace with him. Exactly. You know, yeah. So if you walk in the way of the Most High, then he's going to cause these heathen to, to help you. Yeah. you know? Yeah, the priest, huh? yeah, the priest had found out what the brother was yeah. talking about earlier. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is this the wise man and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. You know, he, he was speaking about uh, if you walk in the light, you can see it. Yeah. You know, so if, if you uh, adopt, I would look for the word adopt. Adopt the, uh, the things that are written in the scriptures. People are going to notice certain changes in you and be like, this man is different. He moves different. He yeah. talks different. He is wise for his age. You know, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna show that off in the way that you, you, carry, you, yourself. you, you carry yourself. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we go back to Matthew? Yeah. the second Ezra. Uh, yeah, the second Ezra is also. Yeah. It's the book of second Ezra, chapter 6. And let me start at verse 7. And he said unto me, From Abram unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau's the end of the world, and Jacob's the beginning of it the followers. Gone. And if you go into that world, uh, uh, that word world, it goes into age. You know, his age is, is coming to an end. You know, and then the age of uh, Jacob is going to come. And Jacob is our forefather. You know, because. We are two um, different nations mm -hmm. that have been uh, brought forth by Abraham, Isaac. You know, they they are forefathers, and we it was bound to be that we would be enemies of one another. You know, that's why when you read the scriptures, then you get the the understanding of certain things. Because when you're born, you feel the hatred that yes. these people have towards us, and now you know why it is. Yeah. You know, Genesis that perpetual hatred. At Genesis 25, three. No, let's, let's just go to uh, And just one point, yeah. because the brother was saying before, it's the perfect verse, perfect verse for that. This isn't our kingdom, this is why we're not meant to flourish in here. Yeah. Because the brother was speaking about that before, even if we keep the lost commandments, the Heavenly Father is going to give us what we need, yeah. yeah. 100% for sure. But hey, we are not here to, to flourish and ball out and have our blessed. Why? Because if this happens, our mind is going to go straight as soon as we as, as soon as soon we get this this, this, this fat and this uh, nourishment, no? Yeah. You know, when we flourish too much, you know how Jake is. Yeah. Jake gonna forget where he come from. You want that? This is our uh, jailhouse right now. We yeah. we are in this situation to be corrected, to exactly. seek righteousness. Yeah. You know, because if you're gonna flourish here, then um, as the scripture also says, you know, uh, don't give me too much uh, poverty or yeah. uh, too much money, because you know, either way, you want that? Uh, the, he's gonna he's gonna say like, okay, without you have that. The proverb. Okay. Give me that rich the poverty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Come. This is proverb chapter thirty. And um, I'm going to start at verse 7. Two things have I required of thee, deny me, deny me them not before I die. Remove far from me vanity and lies, and give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be fool and deny thee, and say, Who is the Lord Jehovah? Or lest I be poor and steal, and take the name of my power in vain. You see? Don't go too, too far left, don't go too far right. You know, stay centered, and the Most High is going to give you what you need. As it says in the book, the book of uh, Psalms 23, you know, He's going to give you rest. He's going to give you, uh, I shall not want. You see? Go back to Matthew. Yeah. Matthew chapter 3, verse um, 3. For this is He that was spoken 
off by the prophet Isaiah, saying, um, The voice of, of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Go on. So in the book of is, uh, Isaiah 40 and 3, mm -hmm. if you can get that real quick, yep. it, it was professed uh, about him that he would come and that he would make the way straight for Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 3, the voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the, des in the desert a highway for our God. Yeah. So these are the exact same words that Isaiah uh, spoke, that he should come first for the, to, to make the, the, the way straight for the anointed, which is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, going back to Matthew chapter 3 and verse 4. And the same John had his raiment of camel's hair and a leathern girdle about his loins, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Yep. And um, if you think about locusts, you, you're going to think that it's uh, unclean, but he was a man that kept the law, statutes, and commandments. So the, the locust, that is a clean, a clean thing to eat, you know, and honey. Honey has uh, so much uh, benefits for you. That's if you go to the density of honey, that's the that's the thing that comes the the most closest to the density of blood you know so those are that that's a benefactual benefact that your body has from it you know it has so many good nutrients in it and uh, let me see I got a quick precept on proving that locust is good this is Levitic, Leviticus 11 verse 22 even these of them ye may eat the locust after his kind the bald locust after his kind and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. So it's all according to the law. Yeah. Yeah. So verse 5, Matthew 3 and verse 5. Then went out to him Jerusalem. So like, let me read it again. Then went out to him Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all the region round about Jordan, and were baptized by him, of him, in Jordan, confessing their sins. Yeah. Okay. Verse 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come, uh, come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generations of vipers, who has warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Okay, you want to speak on that? Yeah, so, um, so basically, he was speaking, um, speaking to the Sadducees and Pharisees because when you think about them, they were constantly hypocrites because they told you one thing and did another thing. And then they were coming up. Because when you think about a viper, you know, a snake it was a harsh language that they used back in the day to cuss, uh, cuss each other out. So now he can come in there and want to act like they want to repent, you know. But let me keep on reading because they're going to explain itself. Verse 8. I got a quick precept on that. It says uh, Matthew 12 and 34. Yeah. Old generation of vipers. This yeah. is red letter, so this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Mm -hmm. How can ye, being evil, mm -hmm. speak good things? See? For out of the abundance of the heart of the mouth speaketh. Yeah, see, and that's the point, man. Because these people could only were there for the personal gain. When you think about all times with the apostles, they knew yeah, uh -huh. they were speaking the truth. They knew how shy there was some truth about him. But still, they persecuted him. And still, hey, they brought him up to the judge, and he got uh, at the end uh, be uh, he got crucified, man. Yeah. The same with the apostles, man. Yeah. You know, they was they were so afraid of the high status because they they thought how shy gonna take their seat. And these people are going to wake up to everlasting shame and think about John, seeing them coming up to the baptism. You're like, what the fuck are you doing here, man? You know, just really sometimes imagine the situation. He baptized them, returned them to repent. You know, he was really diligent in it. And then people coming up that that he knew they was full of shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? That speaks yeah. about that, uh, that their, their thoughts, their attempts yeah. were, were evil. They yeah. were uh, exactly. evil. Yeah. Um, reading on, 35. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bring it forth good things yeah. and an evil man out of the evil treasure bring it forth evil things so these these uh, pharisees and sadducees they all only had evil fruits mm -hmm. you know how can you tell a tree by its fruits yeah. you know yeah. if if they if their root is evil mm -hmm. then also their offspring their their fruit are going to be evil also yeah. and john he also knew that yeah exactly and that's why it says also a uh, even or the, the f a tree that brings a good for good fruit gonna be cut down and thrown into fire, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, because the wrath to come is what, you know, you know what's uh, what's about to come. You you hey, because you think about us, man. We know what's about to come. Also, how is about to return. You know, we know about the wrath the heavenly father is about to come upon this planet Earth. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. You know, so our time is to repent in the, in the spiritual form, you know, because of course John did it in the, like he said, in the physical way, mm -hmm. but now it's to the fire, you know, like you're gonna say at the end, and to the house side, to the word, yeah. you know, and to also, like we said in um, Sarek 2 and 5, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. To, to the furnace of adversity, yeah. you know, so we're gonna go through sufferings, but it's all to our betterment, you know, mm -hmm. you know? so yeah, should I keep reading? Yeah. Is so, precepts? Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm preparing precepts for uh, for later on. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's Matthew 3 and verse 8. Bring forth therefore fruit, uh, meat for repentance, and think not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that the Most High is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. Yeah, so don't uh, lean on the heritage alone to. Yeah. To, to cause you to come into the kingdom of heaven no man it's not going to be the heritage it's not going to be the law mm -hmm. no it's it's the faith that you have in Yahweh Shai you have to believe in Yahweh Shai but they they condemned Yahweh Shai and as the brother went into they didn't believe him but faith is a gift that the Most High gave and what, what is that that uh, gift that is faith believing in Yahweh Shai you know because if it was by the law only no man would stand you know, yeah. because he knew in what time and what times we were going to live in. Mm -hmm. Because now if you even touch, uh, I don't know, paint and stuff like that, that even contains pork. Mm -hmm. If you want to eat a cookie, it contains pork. You know, if you want to wash your, your, your body, it contains pork. So if it was according to that, we would all been dead. Also, because of course we're always saying about the pork, but I think about these these minuscule things. But think about we had to go three times a year to Jerusalem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things like that. Could we keep, can we keep it right now? Can I book a flight right now and go to Jerusalem? Yeah. You know, it's a temple there. Come on now. Even yeah. with, with keeping the Passover, yeah. we're have to, exactly. supposed to have a lamb without blemish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't even uh, know yeah. what kind of lamb we get. Yeah. You know? Yeah, man. That's true. Yeah, the precept. This is Galatians 2 and 16. Mm -hmm. Knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, yeah. Even we believed in Yahweh Shai that, why, that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Yeah. And also in uh, Psalms 130, verse uh, 3 and 5, mm -hmm. it speaks on that if, uh, if the Most High would. Uh, if, if can, nobody yeah. should stand. Nobody yeah. should stand. Yeah, man, that's really heavy priest. I'm mean, showing you that. We at the Lord's mercy, man. Yeah, yeah. It's only daily that we at the Lord's and mercy. It's, it's funny because yeah. the name John goes back to Yahweh Hanan, Hanan, which yeah. means mercy, yeah. the mercy yeah. of Yahweh. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. yeah. So this is Psalm 130 in verse um, 3. If thou, O Yahweh, shouldest mark iniquity, O Yahweh, who shall stand? There is forgiveness with thee. So that, that thou may be feared. Yeah, that thou mayest be feared, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I wait for thee, as like I wait for the Lord Yahweh, my soul doeth wait, and in his word do I hope. Yeah, so in patience you possess your soul, as the scripture says. Mm -hmm. So with this patience that we have to have, we have to wait for uh, Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to say more importantly, but it was uh, needed that John the Baptist had to come. You know to prepare the way so that's uh, what we're going into yeah. the important thing is faith but through this through the spirit everything is coming uh, mm -hmm. together you know as you just broke down yachanan means mercy so the most high he has mercy and then mm -hmm. he sent john which is actually elijah the prophet that is to come which mm -hmm. is abba bivens you know as uh, the elders and apostles uh, taught us mm -hmm. because he would turn the the hearts of the uh, uh, fathers what was it uh, malachi, malachi 4. 4 and 5. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just, just keep that on deck and then uh, we're gonna keep on reading further. Yeah, you want the Malachi? No, 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 keep it on deck okay. and then uh, yeah. when we go, go into the reincarnation. Yeah. I just have it. one real quick precept. Kana. This is Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. He is the patience of the saints. He are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Yahweh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Yo, all point, that? man. It's, yeah. it's all connected, yeah. intertwined. And yeah. through the Spirit, you know, we're hitting these points and it's actually just the scriptures that are coming out. Yeah. You know, that's why you should meditate upon the scriptures daily. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Gotta skip a few. Go. This is John 3, and um, starting at verse, uh, verse 28. You yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the anointed, but I am sent before him. Mm -hmm. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiced greatly because the bridegroom's voice this is my joy 
this is my joy the force fulfilled yeah he is the friend of the bridegroom because who is the bride uh, we as a nation you know uh, yashar allah because as it says in jeremiah 6 and 2 you know i have likened uh, uh, israel as a calmly and delicate woman mm -hmm. you know the daughter of uh, Zion. Mm -hmm. exactly and then this is the point why i brought out he must increase but i must decrease yeah yeah so he, uh, so he came, you know, to do uh, the will of the Heavenly Father, you know. And when Shai Shai came, Yahweh Shai had to be put forth in, uh, you know, in the front. Yeah. And he had to the way for us, man. Yeah. That's why it says also, hey, he's, he did not take up his cross and follow me, he's not worthy of me. Yeah. You know, that's why we have to, you have to go through suffering that Yahweh Shai went through. Yeah. But you have to understand, through all his suffering, he never, you know, uh, 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 broke down to, to not believe him. And mm -hmm. of course, he had his tough moments also in the anxiety. You know, when they go into pray to the father three times exactly. if, if this cup can go away from him but hey he kept the faith in the same time we have to have man you yeah. have to keep the faith up until the bitter end man yeah. you know so yeah and also with john man he was a martyr or it better he, he died for preaching his truth yeah you know and showing you that hey whatever comes man we have to stand strong in the lord can yeah. you can you get that in the wikipedia uh, john the baptist that we're gonna read through that because he was the forerunner he's also being referred as the forerunner yeah. of uh, yeah. Shai of the faith you know Should because through me? him then um, uh, Yahweh Shai came and that was actually as we read the, the gift you see exactly so yeah. to keep on reading uh, Matthew chapter 3 and verse 10 it says and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is thrown down and cast into the fire see verse 11 i indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that is that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes i'm not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the holy spirit and with fire yeah, got a priest upon that fire this is uh, jeremiah 23 verse 29 it's not my word like as a fire said jehovah and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces. You see, so that's the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's why it says, um, I indeed baptize you with water mm -hmm. unto repentance. You know, mm -hmm. John did that as, as a physical uh, manifestation of what is supposed to happen spiritually because yeah. this these scriptures are water. Yep. You got a precept? Yeah, I got it. Go. If you want it. It's Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 26. And so it, it says, was more like. Uh, a ritual that's what the camp had all, always says you know um, the most high works in rituals mm -hmm. that's also what i don't know if it was jeremiah or isaiah that had to ha pluck out his hair you know and burn one and the, the rest he had to leave because those are rituals of things that had to happen mm -hmm. also with, with the laws you know that if we would keep the laws i believe in the book of deuteronomy mm -hmm. if you keep the laws then we would be put on high and if we would not keep the laws, then, you know, we would uh, suffer the curses. Yep. So the Most High works with rituals. Mm -hmm. so Ephesians chapter 5 verse 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Yep. You know? So that's that's uh, what is truth is. It's water, it's, uh, water and it's fire at mm -hmm. the same time, you know. Exactly. And I got a couple of precepts as well. Got it. Yeah. And, um, And this is Jeremiah 2, verse 22. Mm -hmm. For though thou wash thee with night tree, and take thee much soap, yet thy iniquity is marked before me, said the Lord Jehovah Power. Mm -hmm. You know, so what do they do? They, they literally wash you with water. You know, but you know, yet you know, the people of the world, you know, these, these, these Christians, these, you know, whatever they uh, go into, mm -hmm. you know, they might do the baptism, but their iniquities are still there why because they don't change their ways yeah they don't really repent they don't really feel sorry for the sins that they commit because else they would stop trying to commit them you know and offend less as the scripture says yeah. but they keep on eating pork and all you know yeah. and this is the same thing like we said or like i was thinking about when the fairies growing up man they said like yeah let's you know let's go into the water but inside in, in inwardly they were still doing to have the same wicked thoughts as before mm -hmm. so this had no effect on them it's like mm -hmm. when i was thinking back when i was younger and got baptized man you know and to you know how they did it though they just had a you know this baby swimming pool they yeah. put us in this shit man yeah and they dip you in it yeah just dip us in there with, with that. Yeah. yeah just bring you up boom up 
And then they act like you're yeah, such a new man, things like that. I didn't felt anything. I just was like, yeah, I just took a bath, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it, man. You know, got like, uh, We from GMS, we don't even do that because. Yeah. But I know that at GOCC they do it. Yeah. Yep. They go into the river and ponds yeah. and stuff like that, make the whole kind of ceremony. Yeah. That that's not it, man. Yeah. John the Baptist uh, did it, and we are being cleansed by the washing of the word. Yeah. You know, and the, the uh, inward man is renewed day by day exactly. by reading it, by reading the scriptures. That's yeah. the baptism that we from GMS go through. Yeah. But I just, just real quick, yeah. because an old guy that was in GOCC and he got dipped into the water, got an ear infection, man. Right? Hey, <laughs> yo, yeah, ear infection after that shit, man. Showing you, man. You know? <laughs> it's not of the most high, man. Yeah, Why is man. that uh, yeah. happen to you? It's, it's crazy. You just be like, yeah, man, I got baptized today. Yo, crazy. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 1, starting at verse, uh, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Why she make you clean? Put away the evil of your doings for, uh, from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. Yep. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. And that's what we are supposed to do. We, we as kings, we are kings and priests. And we are learning how to judge. How? By the, by the Bible. Because the Bible is the book uh, with the law, statutes, and commandments in it. How you should live, how you should judge a person, how you should judge certain situations. Mm -hmm. You know, just like how Esau takes the, his law book and hits you with it. Like, oh, you, you broke this law, you broke that law. And that's how we are going to be in the kingdom when our kingdom is being manifest. Mm -hmm. you know? And like you, like you so beautifully uh, spoke about, that that's in there. That you should repent and that you should um, take these law, statutes, and commandments and do them. Don't just be like, okay, yeah, I repent, and then keep breaking them. That's what the scripture also says, be, uh, uh, be not only hearers of the word. Yeah, also do it, James, yeah. James 2, I believe. Be doers of the word, not hearers only, yeah. and receive in your own self. Yeah. And then if I may add on to what uh, the Go. precept that I just read. You know, this, this the, the, the precept that I read in Isaiah 1 and 16 and verse 17 shows you that it's not talking about a, a, a literal physical baptism, but it's some, uh, concerning something spiritual. That's the point, man, because we have to. Uh, so I was thinking about before what you quoted, the, um, James 2, because when you think about the faith of your outside, you show the faith of your outside by keeping those commandments to the best of your ability, man. Mm -hmm. Because your outside told us to feed the most high and keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. And if you fear the Lord, you're going to keep his word. Mm -hmm. Because if I fear my father, I'm going to do what he told me to do, right? Yeah. And that's the Seriously. thing, man. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that this is all working hand in hand, like the verse said. It just mm -hmm. perfectly yeah. ties them together, you know? It's not only about the commandments, it's not only about um, 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 putting up or uh, yeah, um, claiming to have faith. We have to show it by our works, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. No? yeah, go yeah. Okay. yeah man. Good. I get a precept also. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the book of Matthew 11 and 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. And if you would think yeah the kingdom of heaven suffered violence then you know you would be like yeah how would the, would a building how would a kingdom suffer violence no because the, the the people that are the kingdom of heaven that's the israelites they are um, being uh, uh, violated right now they are suffering violence you know because the most high dwelleth with them you know as scripture says uh, he doesn't dwell in a temple made with hands he doesn't dwell in the for sure doesn't dwell in this place you know we're right there so he's he dwells with the people and the people are the kingdom of heaven you know that's why in revelations uh, what was it 21 and uh, 2 so john saw the the kingdom of heaven coming down you know yeah. and that's speaking about the people yeah. Yeah. because we people for a place yeah like i said because there's new jerusalem Oh, yeah, and they, they think they think uh, I can read the also if you want to. No, no, just, uh, yeah, it says New Jerusalem, but like it says Second Maccabees, I think five and eighteen, if I remember. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, Second Maccabees five and thirteen or yeah, eighteen. Yeah. yeah, something like that. The fifth chapter, if I remember. Right. It says that we. Um, it's not. It's not. You got it? It's the Second Maccabees chapter five, verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place sake, mm -hmm. but the place for the people's sake. See, so we are people for a place, man. Yeah. You know. First, is the people established because when you think about it, when we went to land, it was the land of Canaan, right? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the land was chosen for us, yeah, but we was the nation of Israel already. We just had to go into the land and conquer it, and then we got really everything fi fixed up and set up with the different countries that we got. But we, we had a nation, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's the thing. So we have to understand that 
hey, we it's about speaking about us. We are, the kingdom is, is itself within us. Yeah, you it, know? It even says in the scripture, yeah, says, the kingdom of heaven is within, within you. you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, so, so, so reading on um, Matthew 11 verse 13, for all the prophets and the law prophesied until John, and if you will receive it, this is Elias, which is Elijah, which was for to come. Yep, yep. Um, then you can get the, the Malachi. Yeah, I got you. You want that? Yeah. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Yeah, and that's the day of Yahweh uh, when Yahweh Shai comes. You know, as it says in the book of uh, Isaiah 47 and 3, that when he's going to come back, he's not going to come back as a man. You know, it's going to be a dreadful yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a dark and gloomy day. It's not gonna be anything like these people think. You know, it's not gonna be all all uh, rapture and that everybody's gonna be saved. No, man, they're gonna be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. And who's that he? That he is speaking about the Israelites. Yeah. Exactly. You want to Isaiah? Okay. Uh, Isaiah forty-seven and three. Their nakedness shall be uncovered. Whose nakedness? Esau's nakedness. Esau's nakedness is being made bare right now. You know, everybody sees that he's that man of perdition, that man that destroys, that man that wants to conquer everything and take everything by force. Yep. The shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. God, that's Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh Shai comes, he's going to come as a as a celestial being. We are going to be extraterrestrial, but he's going to be in a, in a glorious body and we shall be as him. You know, in that time. Exactly. Going back to Malachi 4 and uh, let me read verse 5 again. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Yeah, and that's what happened when John was on the scene, you know, because even the, the Pharisees and scribes, they were like, uh, are you Elijah? Because they know that reincarnation, this proves that reincarnation exists. And even that the uh, Pharisees and scribes asked, who, who is this man? Who art thou? Art thou Elias? You know, but he didn't know that he was Elijah, you know, when we are also reincarnated, but we don't know anything about our past lives, mm -hmm. you know. But that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. When you go in the, the spiritual realm, you are being spiritually reset. Yeah. You know, you're being refreshed and then you're being put here on the earth again. Yeah, you want to preach for it that we don't know the past? Go you got it too? You can read it. This yeah. is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and um, 11. Yeah, it's, uh, it's verse 11. Um, yeah. There is no remembrance of former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come with those that shall come after. Yeah. Um, and that's why we're being reset you know you can't know what you did in your past life you know because if you're being judged right now you're gonna be like oh that's because that thing that i did in my past life and stuff like that no you yeah. gotta the, this thing has to stay a mystery onto you got a precept yeah. and also because you're gonna bug out imagine you wouldn't know all the past lives yeah man. you're like oh shit i know i, yeah. I messed up back yeah. then so when am i gonna get the judgment yo this is, yeah. this is gonna be too much man yeah, yeah man this why but this why people also got the deja vu you know people yeah. got sometimes deja vu is because Certain situations seem to be so 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 similar, yeah. like in the past life. But um, this is Second Esther, chapter fourteen, and verse thirty-five. For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the words of the ungodly shall be declared. Yeah. Can I speak on it? So the scripture shows you that you know once we die. You know we're gonna live again which according to ecclesiastes 12 and 7 you know then should have dust return to the earth and we're gonna the spirit shall go back to the heavenly father who gave it yeah. you know and after three or four generations we're going to come back according to exodus chapter 20 verse 2. Okay. Oh, let me check let me check it before i think it's even five or four let me check it real quick for you well it's uh it's in exodus chapter 20. yeah let me speaks see. about that the most has gone to visit the iniquity five. Uh, can you read that sure. the uh, Exodus chapter 20 verse 5 Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them Sack thyself to them Nor serve them For I, Yahweh, thy power am a jealous power Visiting the iniquity of the fathers Upon the children of the third Unto the third and fourth gener generation Of them that hate me Come, So the Moses is going to visit the iniquity Which means the sins mm -hmm. Sins upon sins upon sins mm -hmm. He's going to require that of us He's going to judge us for those things that we did 
and he's going to do that upon the third and the fourth generation. Could you grab me uh, Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20, Baba Kusha? Because the scripture the brother is going to get, you know, talks about how the how the father is not going to be judged yeah. for the sins of his sons, yeah. neither the son for the sins of his father. Okay. It's Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 20. It says, The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteousness shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. Okay. So the son is not going to bear the iniquity of the father. So whatever wickedness my father will be doing, I'm not going to be judged for that. And whatever wicked, whatever wickedness I, you know, would have done, committed, you know, is not going to be put on my father. He's not going to be judged for that. Yeah. Everybody is going to be judged for his own wickedness. Yeah. Because you know? this would be unrighteous. Yeah. Because of course, of course, you have instances like um, Akan when he got uh, stoned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have to think about it. Think really about the situation because mm -hmm. in this situation, the Heavenly Father told everybody you should take nothing out of Jericho, mm -hmm. you know, and then they hid it. Don't you think the family knew about that? There should be, what does the scripture say? You should be the, the first to call it out. You should, hey, call it out and tell them, hey, he yeah. did this, yeah. you know? But they made him guilty by not saying anything. That's why they also, uh, they that's, yeah. uh, that's what I, that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. Because certain, certain instances, the whole family dies, things mm -hmm. like that, hey. But it's righteous judgment, why? Because every father's righteous and there's no unrighteous in it. Yeah. Because he doesn't break his word, man, you know? And even if they in that account would have done nothing, mm -hmm. It could have been that the, that the most I would have jacked them up for something that they did in their past life. This is what I mean, because this is what he does. This is what I, what I was thinking one time. Like, yeah, if I can just put the spirit into that, into that son mm -hmm. that did wicked, and then mm -hmm. he kills him. Mm -hmm. But it seems like he's innocent, but like it says in Job. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a yeah. being innocent. I have you the This is Job chapter 4, yes. verse 7. Mm -hmm. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, but where were the righteous cut off? Yeah. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and so wickedness reap the same. See, so that's the point. Because if the righteous die, he's not cut off, man. We receive mercy because you have to think we live in a wicked society. And if we die for the Lord, it's mercy upon our ass, man. It's mercy upon us. Why? Because we get delivered and we, you know, we're out of here already. Mm -hmm. Out of the suffering, out of this pain. And then if we, when the house child comes back, we're going to be first to the Lord, man. You know? And we're already in a spiritual realm in paradise. Yeah. Like the house said to the one fellow that was on the cross mm -hmm. yeah. because we believe yeah we're gonna be in paradise man. today so that we will be in paradise yeah man showing you that we are going up to the lord man okay. yep so, you yeah. want to go back to the message yeah come or... and we have uh, taken the picture that there's no uh, greater prophet than john baptist that came from uh, yeah okay. mm -hmm. have, um, yeah. this is luke chapter 1 verse 17. uh let me start it first uh Verse 15, and this is talking about um, you know John the Baptist. 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. Verse 13. Gone. This is uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 13. But the angel said unto him, Fear not Zacharias. Because Zacharias, Zacharias is the father of uh, John the Baptist. Gone. For that prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt call his name John. Gone. And uh, um, Elizabeth, she was barren as you can read in uh, verse 7 and they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren and they both were now well stricken in years so that's how you see the most high he often uses uh, women that are barren to bring forth the, the, the greatest men in Israel yeah man you know? all the patriarchs yeah you know were similar yeah was same way man yeah and uh, Samson also I believe uh, uh, no it was um, Samuel Samuel also yeah Samuel but, also. but, but Sam Samson was also I don't know. I, I don't remember. I think it's yeah, Samuel, Samuel for sure. Samuel, yeah. Hannah, Hannah. Yeah. yeah and then also, Jacob, uh, Rebecca, mm -hmm. and Sarah, Sarah was also. Yeah. So you, man. It's crazy how that every father works, man. And it's, all, it's also an example for the females that, you know, or the, the sisters that believe in Yahweh, Shemi, and Shai. And if you're barren, man, don't see it. Look at, look, look at your, the, the, the answers of us, man. Yeah. These people were barren, man, but if the time was right for them to get children, they're going to yeah. get children. The Most if, High opened yeah. the womb, you know, exactly. as, as it says. It. Yeah. yeah, as that, and as we, we just read, was it, they were well stricken in years, yeah, man. you know? So it doesn't matter if you're uh, 30, 50, uh, yeah. you know? Exactly. Yeah, in, in this life, yeah, in this in this world yeah. that we live in, you know, it, yeah. Yeah, your body is broken down, but back then we were more um, uh, vital and more vivid, you know? 
And what I want to say is maybe in the time for children is not right now, but in the kingdom, man. Yeah. That's what I have faith, man. Because in the kingdom, you're going to have, hey, mad children, man. Yeah. You know? Got to be uh, repopulated. Two thirds exactly. of our nation has to come back. Yep, yep. And the wicked, yeah. Just two thirds of America. The wicked are all here. Come on. Yeah, um, and I got the pizza. Done. We're going to close it off with that. Yeah. Genesis verse 14. And thou should have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. Yeah, so this proves that he was a Nazarite, you mm -hmm. know, that he didn't drink uh, wine nor strong milk. Because strong drink. That's strong drink, so like that. <laughs> strong milk. <laughs> Verse 16. And many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their power. Beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's why John the Baptist, it was very important that he should, mm -hmm. should have come. You know, because if you read further in this chapter, then it explains to you how um, uh, Mary came to visit Elizabeth and the two spirits, because John is about roughly six months older than Yahweh Shai was, so they were uh, almost the same age. Yep. And when uh, Yahweh Shai, I think it was the other way around, that when Yahweh Shai was in the belly and uh, Mary came, then John leaped in the belly. Yeah, I think so. It's in Luca. Yeah. So th this is just uh, beautiful to read, you know, to get a... Good. Yeah, what's here? It's Luke 1 and 41. And it came to pass that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So she began to prophesy also. And this is verse 17. And he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elias, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just. To make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Yep, it's beautiful what we just read, Malachi 4 and 5, and that's what uh, Abba, Abba Biffins did. You know, he brought back the remembrance of the scriptures to mm -hmm. us. He opened our eyes. He com came with the a breakdown of uh, Deuteronomy 28, you know, and that's like, whoa, you know, everything became clear then. Yeah. So that's why we say and uh, we believe that Abba Biffins is Elijah, which is John the Baptist in the reincarnation, yeah. you know. And also, uh, you know, a little fun fact is that uh, Abba Bivens, you know, you know where if it was at the Pesach, one of the Pesach that the other apostles spoke about. Mm -hmm. But what did he eat? Locust and honey. You know, so that shows you that the Spirit revealed basically unto the other apostles who he was in the reincarnation. Yeah. You know? yeah. And because because you eat locust in the, in the modern time that we're in, it's a heavy thing, man. Think about it. Yeah. To make somebody locust right now, this in this Western Hemisphere, they be like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? not so developed countries or regions they may eat certain animals like that that we don't eat already but in the western hemisphere they don't do that yeah. you know? Just thinking about um, can i speak uh, about verse 17 okay. because in verse 17 it also says that um john would go um let me read again luke uh, 1 and 17 and he should go before him in the spirit and power of elias showing you that the same spirit that was in uh, the prophet elijah back in john the baptist you know so they were through the reincarnation they were the same people mm -hmm. this is first uh, corinthians chapter 14 verse 32 and the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets yes. so if you was a prophet you know uh, back in the days in your previous lives it means you're going to come back as a prophet again you know because you know? uh as it said also in uh, um, ecclesiastes 1 and 9 there's no new thing under the sun. Yeah. 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 Do you have any uh, precepts? Mm -hmm. No, you have just, more precepts. Uh, because then we're going to close so it. Oh, if I have more precepts? No, no, no I'm, I'm, I'm empty now. Go, go, go. You had any? Yeah, no, just only the go. Um, it's a book of Luke, or you want to finish Matthew, or was that on the point? Okay. Um, oh, yeah. What's that, verse 11? Oh yeah, let's, let's read uh, on down, Okay. Just to read the chapter yeah. for the completion. Uh, this is Matthew chapter 3 and verse 12, and it says, Whose van is in his hand, and he will truly purge his floor, and gather his wheat into the garden, garner, but he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. That makes me think about uh, when the angels are also going to come and uh, take the tares, throw them in the fire, you know, and the, the, 
the elect are going to be brought into the barn and that barn is the, the chariots. Exactly. Verse 13. Then comes Yahushua from Galilee uh, to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. And comest thou, thou to me? And Yahushua answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for this it be for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. Yeah, and if you go into that word suffer, suffers means to allow. Yeah. You know, it's not, not the another way like how you wanna suffer somebody, you wanna, you know, let them suffer. suffer. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah let him be in pain. No. It means to allow. He allowed him to yeah. do to do that. Yeah. That's why El Apostle Gabal always says you have to look up your words, man. Yeah. You know, because Ali would be completely confused so 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 John suffered your house sorry man? Yeah what, what? what is know? sadistic or something, you know, <laughs> yeah. breaking him or something Yo making him to suffer. So can we say I heard the etymology on that to prove the point. Yeah, right. This is uh, the word suffer in the etymology and it says mid thirteenth century, allow to occur or continue, yeah. permit, tolerate, beautiful, fail to prevent or suppress. Yeah, yeah man. This is beautiful man. The scriptures are just beautiful man. And and just just these little things, you know, when you look at words, it just boosts you sometimes, man. Yeah, yeah. You get the phone and say, "Oh shit, this means it, man." Because when you just read your brain, you you get completely confused. Just why yeah, these? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, no, 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 no. This why these two thirds, these wicked of all people, and these other nations can't understand the scriptures, man. Because it really has to be given you by the heavenly Father, and you have to be taught by men. But these people nowadays don't want to deal with men. They don't be like they had the Holy Spirit taught me. Yeah. You bugging the fuck out, man. You know. But yeah. Yeah, let me uh, get this real quick. Mm -hmm. I was going through my precepts. I'm like, yeah, let me bring this out. This is uh, John, St. John 1, verse um, 7, verse mm -hmm. 6. There was a man sent from Yahweh, Basham Yahweshai, whose name was John. The same came for uh, Salam, Salakia, the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, speaking about John, mm -hmm. but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light which lighted every man that cometh into the world. You know, that's, that's this, this, this uh, illumination that you get, this, uh, you know, as the brother just read, when you go into the scriptures, it makes your face to shine. You know, if you have this wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the Most High, that's why uh, Moses, he, his uh, face shone, you know, when he uh, came down from uh, Moses. Uh, Mount Sinai. He had to cover his face because yeah. it was so strong. Man. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, that was the true light which lighted every man that mm. cometh into the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Mm. So let me jump to verse. Uh... Yeah, the world knew him not, man. Because this is the thing, because hey, the spirit, I was thinking just about it. Because I had a guy in my combo talking about, yeah, you're not the children. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the world knows the truth. I'm like, no, the world doesn't know the truth, man. Because the world doesn't know Yahushua, man. Yeah. You know? They're playing, they're playing their role. They, exactly. You know, they're, they're not going to know us because they didn't know Yahushua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, on. this is uh, John 1 and 19. Uh, and it reads, And this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and uh, Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed, and he denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ, I am not the anointed, and they asked him, what then, art thou Elias? And he said, I am not, as we just read, you know, you don't know your past lives, you know, he didn't know that he was Elijah, but through the scriptures it is revealed that he is Elijah the prophet. Yahushua said it in himself, man. Yeah. And he said, I am not, art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. Then said they unto him, who art thou? that we may give an answer to them that sent us. What said thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, make straight the way of the, of the Lord, as said the prophet Elias. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's funny because the your case, I was thinking about the word straight. Mm -hmm. Then I looked at my precept in uh, Matthew chapter three, verse three, and it says Proverbs chapter eight, and, uh, hope it's not a bogus precept. No, man. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got this, like, yeah. when you first start off with the word, yeah, then you're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, this is a precept, this is a precept. Yeah, yeah, and at the end of the line, you're like, nope. Mm -hmm. And it says, <laughs> Proverbs 8, verse 8, all the words in my mouth are righteous. Mm -hmm. There's nothing forward or perverse in them. 
they are plain to him that understand it and write to them that find knowledge. You know, meaning the word straight goes into to, to, to make it easy to understand as well. Yeah. You know, make it plain. Yeah, make it plain, straightforward, direct, you know, yeah, straight to the point and specific. Yeah. Yeah. So to finish off Matthew chapter 3 and verse 16, and Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went up straight way out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of the Most High descending like a dove and light, lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Beautiful man. So there came a voice out of heaven, like this is my son. You know, he had John fulfilled what he had to do, and then you know the the, the fullness was made manifest that this is my son. You know that Yahweh Shai is the, the anointed. So showing you that uh, John the Baptist had a very important role in all of this. So that's why we're going to close off with this. This is Luke chapter seven verse twenty eight. It's written in red. So for I say unto you, among those that are born of women. There is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of the Most High is greater than me. Yeah. So on this side, there was there's no prophet that is greater than John the Baptist, but in the kingdom of heaven, you know, we're gonna be all greater than John the Baptist mm -hmm. because why? We're gonna have spiritual powers. We're gonna be in rulership. We're gonna rule through righteousness, through the law, statutes, and commandments. We're not gonna have the Bible because the Bible is gonna be in our inward part. So we are gonna be. Uh, programmed to to only bring righteousness onto this world. It's going to be made perfect, man. Yeah. And so, perfect goes into complete. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's what this uh, church actually is dedicated to. It's dedicated to John the Baptist, and we're here to bring out the truth according to the Bible. And Lord willing, this video is edifying, and we want to say all praises, honor, and glory go unto Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakak Kudash, Basham Rakak Kudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Bill, so for teaching us the truth, and who will well peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and the truth. Shalom. Shalom.